that have said, and it's not about occupation. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's in, in the hearts and minds of some people that you're on that other side of the line. And as soon as you do something that I feel that you've transgressed or you came over that line, mm -hmm. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to destroy you. Right. And so uh, I, I see all of these things that are happening. And I always go back to the root of what I really believe is going on. There are too many lines that have been drawn. Mm. And because of that, we look at each other as separate. We look at each other as different. We form judgments and opinions that we never should form. Right. And, and because of that, conflict follows or, you know, uh, not wanting to be with somebody because they have a different color skin or they're, you know, we draw lines. We find ways to draw lines. You know, we draw lines because you, you don't politics line drawn. You, you don't, you know, you don't believe like I do about how this country is supposed to be run. So right. we draw a line in politics. We, we draw a line in, in religion. You know, when I, when I presented this message before, I, I I study, you know, some of the things, some of the numbers that's going on that represent to me represents lines that have been drawn. Mm -hmm. You know that there's 200, 200 Christian denominations alone within the United States. But this was even this was even more mind boggling to me yeah. that there is 45,000 Christian denominations globally. 45,000. I could not believe that. Right. But right. you know what that you, you know what that tells me? That there's 45,000 lines that have been drawn mm -hmm. saying, I don't believe like you believe. Right. And so we draw a line and we say, you stay over there and believe that. I stay over here and believe this. Right. <laughs> right? right. Don't come and don't come over here and try right. to share anything that you believe because you you I, I don't want to hear it. And so I just believe that what we do is we draw lines. But I believe that those, I believe that what Jesus, when he walked the earth, mm -hmm. one of the things that he did was he erased lines. And oh, I believe that that's what we're supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, he drew the line around the entire human race, around the entire cosmos and said, all in me, we're all one. And, he's, and his Absolutely. prayer was that we would be one as he and the father are one. There's no lines between him and the father. And there's no lines that are supposed to be between his kids, even though we celebrate our differences. And we do disagree, but that we don't rally around what we agree or disagree. We rally around love and our oneness together. We rally around um, uh, our oneness that God called us to be. And even if people don't believe in, in, in Jesus or whatever, we're still one. It was, that was never the thing. It's not our beliefs that make us one. It's our original design and our origin. And so we can disagree, Absolutely. but we can disagree and love one another and go out for coffee you know, or beer or whatever, uh, <laughs> you know, you want, right? Um, because that's not what we rally around, that we, we love one another. We have one commandment to love one another. And so love okay. is not blind to disagreements or whatever, but love just says, I, we're, we're one, we're hanging, we're doing this thing as one, even if we disagree. And, uh, and, and we look different and we Absolutely. think different and vote different and dress different and whatever different, right? So that's so amazing. Well, keep on going, Lynn. I'm loving it. I'm eating it up. This is so good. We need this. <laughs> well, you know, I, and you're absolutely right. And I love that. You know, I believe that what Jesus was trying to show us and give her a picture of is there's no lines in the middle of, of God's children. You know, if you want to draw a line, draw it around us all. And that's all getting to the middle because we're all in God. We're all in Christ, however you want to say it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm just... I'm just excited because I believe that more and more, even through all of us, the entire globe, right? The entire world, the entire world. has been through some, some difficult things within right. the last couple of years, right? With the pandemic and mm -hmm. all the things. But I, I believe this is in the midst of this, 
it has forced many of us to evaluate some of the things that we have believed in the past and some of the things that caused us to, to draw line. Mm -hmm. right? Right. I, I believe that. We have had to, you know, even in my own life, mm -hmm. I've had to evaluate who I am as a person and some of the things that I, that I once believed mm -hmm. and, and how they have actually worked for me. And I believe that, you know, when we, when we really take time to evaluate our beliefs and what they are doing according to love. And I love, I love, I love how you talk about love because I believe that love is the eraser. It really uh -huh. is. Love erases the line. But I believe that in the last, you know, a couple years and all of the challenging things that we've been through, uh, particularly here in this country, mm -hmm. we've evaluated our beliefs. And some of us have, have erased some of the lines because mm -hmm. we knew it wasn't working for us. Exactly. And, and, you know, we knew that these things that we have believed is not lining up. If, if you generally look at the message of Jesus and what he said mm -hmm. and the things that he did, mm -hmm. see, Jesus erased the lines, not just what he said, but also with what he did. Mm -hmm. And so it's easy to, to, to try to erase lines just by, you know, the things we say out of our mouth. Mm -hmm. But we really erase those lines by the things that we do. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that's what Jesus came to do. I believe that that's, that's why, you know, it says that he, he hung out with the tax collectors in the center, right? right? Because in that time, in that culture, there was a, a line that was drawn between the Jews and the Gentiles, mm -hmm. and the religious folks and the non-religious. And so the religious folks that drew the line and says, oh, if you don't believe like us, you on the other side of the line. You are my enemy, right? You, you are a Gentile or you are not following the commandments of, of Moses. You on that side. And if you come over here, I'm going to kill you. And ultimately, that's how they view Jesus. The religious people, right? and let me say that again, because I believe that that's a point that we really, really need to consider. Say the it. religious people <laughs> considered Jesus on the other side of the line, well, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And that's why they killed them, right? So I, I, I want to make that. I say let let's really think about that because you know a lot of us. I, I know me. I held on to some of those personal beliefs that those same religious people once oh, yeah. had. Oh, yeah. Right? And, and we that's called what, it righteous. And that's Come on. Me, yeah, as, as, exactly. And that's what caused me to look at certain people as on the other side of the line because I had the same view that they had. Right. But Jesus, what he did was, that's why he hung out with the tax collectors and sinners. He didn't care what people were going to think, the religious folks that drew the line. He said, I'm going to show you. I'm going to hang out with people that y'all look at as the enemy. Y'all look at right. as unworthy and unfit and all of that. He hung out and with them. Right? That's, that, that, yeah, yeah, yes. And that's why I believe Jesus did these things. Like when he went and he met the woman at the well, the Samaritan woman. Right. That he was never supposed to be having a conversation with. Samaritan but the Bible woman, makes it clear that he adulterer. intentionally, yeah, yeah, he intentionally went there. And met her at the well because she was broken. She was hurting and, and yeah. all she was going through. But I believe that what he did that, he did that intentionally to say, you know what? I got to erase these lines. Yeah. Because as long as there are lines, there's going to always be conflict. There's always going to be um, divisive, even from, from God. Just, just thinking about it. We divide ourselves from God from the line. Right. Because even in the con and I just thought about this, even in the context of that story, mm -hmm. you know, the Samaritan woman was going back and, and back and forth saying, hey, you know, we worship God on this mountain. and Y'all worship right. God on that mountain, you know, and right. a line was drawn. Right. But what was what what the issue was is that in that Samaritan woman's mind, 
she was separated from the same God that Jesus was trying to introduce everybody to. Absolutely. So Jesus said, you know what? We got to get rid of this. Now. <laughs> and so I, I just believe life is all about erasing the lines. Now, one thing I understand, sis, is that, and, and I, I kind of giggled when I said this when I was speaking about it. You know, <laughs> we're talking about the line. Mm -hmm. I understand that there are certain people that have drawn lines in permanent ink. Right. Right. <laughs> right. They don't want their lines erased. They have tattooed the lines. They're like, no, I'm mm -hmm. keeping this line. Right. <laughs> because because they have they feel that they need the line for their own personal reasons. They feel that they need the line to be divided. Some people just feel that, you know, they justify the lines through scripture. Mm -hmm. you right. Know, so you can make scripture of her, anything we want. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because of hurts and pains and things yeah. that have done for us, we draw lines. Mm -hmm. And through time, we feel comfortable having lines because yeah. it's like our safety. Or, and it's also sometimes or our, our identity. Like if I don't have this line, I don't know who I am. Right. So when we divide our Absolutely. lines around race, uh, sexuality, culture, gender, all these things that 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 separate us, you know, God called us to be one, but that's union with distinction. So we get to be all this diverse gorgeousness as reflections of him in our flavor. Um, but it's not separation. We're still one. And I think sometimes we get very threatened because if I don't have this line that makes me better or whatever that I think makes me better, then I don't know who I am. Or I, I'm trying to prop up my self-esteem and my identity by something that God never intended. Absolutely. And I love what you said, because I believe that line, when you draw it, we have been taught that this line makes you better than the person on the other side of the line. Right. Even right? though we know that that's not the case. <laughs> no. So some people say, I really want to keep this line here because this is, like you said, this is my identity. Mm -hmm. This is my proof or my justification that I'm better than the person on the other right? side of the line. But that's that's in their understanding. Right. But when you really look at the message of Jesus, when you really understand the truth of what's really in our heart, mm -hmm. we know that there is no line and we have to, um, and, and erasing the line has to be a choice. It, it, oh, yeah. is a, it is a choice that we have to make. It's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. One thing I know now, the lines that have been drawn, a lot of the lines that, that I had drawn in my own life, it wasn't even, lines that I could say I drew, mm -hmm. but it was lines that somebody else drew for me. Mm -hmm. If you understand right. we just what took I'm it saying. Hook, line, and sinker. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And we listened to what somebody else believed about certain people or certain cultures or mm -hmm. certain things. And, and because of their belief, because we, you know, looked up to them or because, you know, we respected them. Mm -hmm. We said, hey, they got a line. So let me draw the same line, right? Right. But I'm understanding is that if we really, really want to enjoy this life, like I, I know that all of us are meant to enjoy it, yes. we have to remove these lines. And it's a oh, choice. Okay. We got to do it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to just happen. We have to do it. Now, let me just ask you, because sometimes you're really setting your heart to like erase lines and things like that. And God's revealed is like, oh, wow, in, out, not like me, like me, you know, whatever. So he reveals something to you, convicts you of that. And you're like, oh, that's crap. That's not love, lovely. And so what happens when, say, you erase the lines, but kind of the ones, but someone else has lines with you. So how do you handle some loving someone that insists on lines. So maybe a religious person or, or whatever, it could be anything. Um, uh, and then, you know, all of that. So what, how do you handle that when they're insisting on a line with you and you're like, I have no line with you. How do you handle that, Lynn? 
one thing that that I had to come to the place mm -hmm. of or understand myself is I first had to love myself. I had to honor myself, right? Because when you really love and honor yourself, you don't care if somebody has drawn a line in front of you. Right. Because you're at peace with your own self, mm -hmm. right? And so that's one of the things that, that I, I, I know now is if there's a line that somebody else is drawing, first of all, I'm grateful that I'm not the one that drew to the line. Right. <laughs> right? Because, because I love God and I really, and like you said I mean, earlier, and I love what you said, we, we're simply extensions of God in our own flavor, our own shape, size, whatever. But all of us are extensions of God. And so one of the things that I had to come to the place in is I want to be the best expression of God that I can be. And I know that that means God doesn't draw a line. I shouldn't be drawing a line because I'm one with God. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things is I'm grateful that I'm not the one that's drawing lines anymore. Right. But I also had to come to the place that I love myself enough mm -hmm. to say, you know what? If somebody else wants to draw a line, come on, can, can I be real? And I hope nobody takes this Please. wrong, but... <laughs> It helps. I, 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 I'm even at the place where I'm saying, you know what? If somebody drawing a line and they want to stay on that side and keep me on this side, that's they lost, right? Right. right. We got to be that confident in ourselves. That's they lost mm -hmm. because, you know, and, and I said this in that same message. The Bible says that we have this treasure in earthen vessels, right? Right. To me, the treasure is God, the giftings of God, everything, you know, the God in us expressing God outside of us. Right. right? It's a treasure. Right. So one thing I had to come to, to understand is that there's a treasure in me just like there's a treasure in you. Right. And, and one of the things that I really, really believe is that we are meant to be here to like, we, we, we like on a treasure hunt. I like Ooh, that. Yes. That's, that, 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 that's fresh off the press right there. there We're on a treasure good. hunt. Keep going, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so on, on, on a treasure hunt, I believe that we are supposed to be uh, getting as much treasure as we can while on this journey, right? We're supposed to be yes. just literally just, just collecting treasure that will not only make our lives better, but make lives better for others, right? Exactly. So one thing that I, I understand is, is that on this treasure hunt, right, I have the privilege of getting treasure everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the treasure may be in people that don't look like me, <laughs> right? Ding, 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 yeah. And I, <laughs> and, and I believe that ultimately that is how it's always intended to be. Which means that if I draw a line and I separate from somebody that also has a treasure in them, mm -hmm. a treasure that's meant for me, mm -hmm. if I never embrace that person, if mm -hmm. I never accept that person, right. there's treasure in somebody that's meant for me to, to, to have in my own life that I will never have. Why? Because I have chosen to draw a line that was never meant to be Absolutely. there. And so one of the things I'm at a place now, I, I'm like, you know what? There's some stuff in me that's going to be a blessing to people. There's some, some, there's some stuff in me that is going to be life-changing for some people. There's some stuff in me that is going to be somebody's treasure. But if they choose to draw a line, that's on them. This is just some treasure that they will never experience, some treasure they will never get. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly right. And you know, when you think about it too, because when we talk about loving and valuing and that kind of things, also loving ourselves, because sometimes we reject parts of ourselves and we've drawn lines. That's not lovable. That's not lovable. That, And so we even draw lines within ourselves and then we're not able to see the treasure in that. And we're not, not 
integrous, which is a big word, but we're not like one and whole within ourselves. And so God is also about erasing those lines, loving, loving wow. ourselves, letting him love us, loving ourselves and loving one another. And it's all about what we're including in our, and, and embracing because we reject what we draw lines about. So yeah. And, and then we're not able to partake of, of, of the gorgeousness of that person, the treasure of that person, just because they don't think or look or act or whatever like us. And it's such a loss. You know, if God said, we're supposed to forgive our enemies after we real, after we forgive, we're looking around where, where are the enemies? <laughs> because they're just not really real, except in our minds, right? Except in our minds. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We it's our choice to separate. It's, it's our choice to hold on to grudges. Mm -hmm. it's, it's our choice um, to 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 be prejudiced. It's our choice to, you know, just just separate and divide, right? But I'm understanding now that when I do that, when I draw those lines, I'm actually cutting my blessing short, right? Yes. You have you. You have been such a blessing to my life, right? You, you really have. You're so encouraging. You're my big sister. But think about this. You have, how you have blessed my life. I can't even imagine if, if you weren't a part of my life now. And we don't talk all the time. But when we do talk, it's refreshing. It's encouraging. And I just say that to say, just think about it. Right, we we are not of the different. We, we we're not of the of the same shade, right? We may be from different backgrounds according to uh, uh, my social background, my religious background. It could have been real easy for us to never have had communication with one another. Why? Because we judge one another from the outside, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I would have never had the privilege to draw from the treasure that's in you. Mm -hmm. because I made a decision to draw a line or you made a decision to draw right. a line. For, right. For me. Right. But when you come to that place where you say, you know what? I, 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 I don't want any line. I understand there's a treasure in, in these people that I've drawn lines against mm -hmm. and I can't get from them what I need because of my own ignorance and foolishness. Right. So I just made up my mind personally. If somebody wants to draw a line, that's that's I'm gonna love them anyway, right? Right, but I refuse to draw any more lines because I believe that we are here to experience the best life possible. I, be yes. I, I believe that's our purpose. Yeah, we're here just to enjoy this life, to add the God in us mm -hmm. as expressions of God. We're we're here to add to the beauty of God's creation. Yeah, but we're also here to to enhance other people's lives exactly right that that's part of i believe that's part of all of our mm -hmm. mission i believe all of us are here on a mission right we yeah. came here on some type of mission in our heart and and one of them is to make life better for other people and so you know if somebody doesn't want me to be a part of that then that's okay because right. they've drawn a line mm -hmm. but as for me I'm going to erase lines and I'm going to continue to hopefully pull out the treasure that's within me to be a blessing to as many as possible. Well, you do that so well. And I, I just love what you were saying that love is the eraser of the lines, right? Because when we yeah. see each other through the eyes of love, we're one and we, it's just breathtaking and gorgeous and all of that, the one before you the one that's before you. And so, you know, we're, 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 um, this is part of heaven on earth is enjoying one another, enjoying the glory that you carry and who you are, the unique treasure that you are. And then, and then everyone, everyone that has been put on planet earth is a treasure is something is some something unique with something in them and reminding each other that there's treasure in us, that, that pulls us together and makes us one. And uh, it's so, it's so beautiful. I, I think that's just part of the joy. When we cut ourselves off, we become smaller versions of ourselves. I'm a better version of me because I know you, Lynn. 
I'm a better version of Catherine and, and, and because I've, I, I've, I've, I've known you and enjoyed you and gotten, you know, in relationship with you. Um, I mean, and, and, and just able to see who Lynn is and just draw upon that. So, so beautiful. I'm so grateful you were in my life. Thank you for being in my life <laughs> and in the lives of so and many people. And it's the same, sis. And, and that's what I'm saying. It's tragic that there could have been a line drawn between us that I couldn't have drawn for you and you wouldn't have drawn for me. And, you know, when it really comes down to it, think about it. You just spoke about heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. I believe that we have the potential, that thought that I learned growing up in church about going to heaven one day when I die. Totally. I, I believe we are supposed to create heaven here on earth. Yes. I believe that is what we are capable of doing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not about dying and going to another place for all. Mm -hmm. I believe it's about creating heaven on earth. Now, all of us have different, I believe all, in our minds, mm -hmm. we all have a different uh, view of what heaven is. Right. Right. But I believe heaven on earth most of us will acknowledge that there is a consensus uh, uh, and not all of us that heaven is a place where everybody is together. Yes. Uh, now we yeah. know, we, we, we know that, you know, even from the, the Christian narrative of my past, I, I know that everything in heaven is spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> and so, if everything is spirit, there is no colored flesh and all of these things that divide us while we're here now. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, you know, there, there, there isn't a black heaven and a white heaven. <laughs> I think most of us, even if we was the, divided in church, in our, 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 our church beliefs. Right. Most of us believe that when we die, died, we were going to go to a place that, you know, everybody was going to be together. Right, right, right. And, and, and so I believe that when we really take time to just stop and think about some of the things now, if I don't believe that I'm going to be divided from somebody when I die and go to heaven, why, why do I believe that I should be or I have the right to be divided from them now? It right. Really, it really doesn't right. make any sense. Right. right? But the reason is we 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 drawn all of these lines. I, I don't think anybody really believes that there's lines in heaven. Right. You know, right. that it, it's it would be okay in heaven to draw a line, right? You know, and, and be separated from certain people. Like we're gonna be up there um, you know, arguing about, you know, my mansion is over here, you know, <laughs> your mansion is over there. <laughs> You know, my my mansion is in the hood. You know, you in the in the suburbs and all this, and we fussing and fighting over. Oh no, I, 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 I just really don't believe that. You know, we we even believe that there's supposed to be lines in heaven. So if we don't believe that there's supposed to be lines in heaven, why do we keep on drawing the lines here? Well, and this is true. And Jesus said that we're 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 to pray that things be on earth as it is in heaven. And so, um, yes. so no lines, no lines. And that, I think that's part of the, the beauty of uh, that we carry um, to, to come together as one, which is so amazing. Wow. Wow. Well, any kind of final thoughts and a little bow you want to put on top or. <laughs> well, I just want to say it, it really is. You know, like I said earlier, it's a choice. You know, mm -hmm. we, we got to make that choice. And, and, and to be honest with you, making that choice takes courage. It really does. That's because of the society, the society we, we live in, it takes courage to start erasing lines mm -hmm. because we can be behind lines so, so long that it, it has become comfortable. Right. And, you know, it, it, it is, it, it can be more comfortable to look around you and everybody on this side of the line looks like you or mm -hmm. believes like you, mm -hmm. you know, 
and everybody on the other side of the line doesn't look like you, doesn't believe like you. So right. you get comfortable hanging out with the people on this side, right? right? I'm, I'm comfortable with y'all, right? <laughs> but but, but it, it takes somebody that, that takes courage mm -hmm. it does. to say, you know what? I, I just want to erase these lines. I'm tired of the line. You know, I love the people on this side of the line. Yeah. But I recognize I'm supposed to love people on that side of the line as well. It's, it's just time for us to get. So what that means is that when you do start a racing line, mm -hmm. the people on this side of the line that you've been hanging with, some of them right. don't want to race line. Oh, and some they're going to start be really saying. mad at you and make you feel like you're betraying, right? The lines, you're, you're betraying where you came from and you're betraying something. And, and God, God refused to get involved with that. He just refused to be a part of that. Uh, so sometimes it does take bravery because you can just flat out accused of whatever, accused of, you know, uh, betraying family, betraying tradition, betraying, uh, you know, whatever. Um, I mean, you know, people called Jesus said he had a demon in him. So, you know, you know, uh, it called him the devil. So, you know, uh, and, and so it's not always lovely the way people act, but it is lovely to, to, you know, love provides the Jews to help us overcome um, fears and fears of what we don't know and what looks different to us. And, and then also fears of like, well, what, what are other people going to think if I embrace when I'm supposed to be drawing a line? And that does take bravery. Yeah, that's a really good point. But the good thing is, hear me now, the good thing is, and when you erase the line and you start to embrace some people that were once on the other side of the line, they treat you better. <laughs> Come on now. That's all. They treat you better than the ones that used to be on the side of the line that you were right. once on, right? Right, right. You start to say, wait a minute, how in the world did I ever separate myself from you because you're treating me better than the people that have been on my side of the line the whole time. Right. right? That's funny. Oh my God. So yes. But it is it's it's the truth though. You you <laughs> because what happened for me is, you know, there are people on the other side of the line that have always really wanted to love. Yes. They wanted to be compassionate. They 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 just wanted to live their best life and help others to live right. their their best lives as well. But they were uh, again, they didn't want to cross the line because of what the people they had become familiar with would say. Right. 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 And and, and so, you know, when the lines are gone. It's like a clear pathway to connect with people that had that same heart, that same passion. Might not look the same, but the same heart on the inside. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, when that starts to happen, you start stop forgetting about, you, you, you're still loving the people that was on the other side of, of the line. And now you just found, you, you find then that now they've drawn a line <laughs> to separate them from you, right? The same people that were once Can on your yes, side absolutely. of the line. <laughs> they now drawn the line and said, now you stay over there. You used to be over here on my side of the line. Right. Now you on the other side. You, but that is fine. It, it is absolutely right. fine because you start to, to, to really enjoy life. You start to embrace people you would never embrace pull out treasure out of them that you needed yeah that yeah. that really enhanced your life and and you know it, it does it really does it takes courage um it, it really takes a, a heart to say you know what I am just I, I'm tired of all of these lines that have separated separated us I, and, and I'm tired of of acting like it's okay Right. You know, we, we act like it's okay to be divided, to be separated, to draw. We act like it's okay, like it's normal. Right. And then we try to justify the lines, even through using the Bible or whatever. Oh, we use yes. Whatever we can to try to justify the, the lines. Mm -hmm. 
Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. And so I just want to, you know, close and saying, let, let's just erase the line mm -hmm. because, you know, if there's, if there's no lines in, in heaven, um, there should be no lines now here on earth. And I believe ultimately, you know, there are some people I need to draw some treasure out of. And the line has, has kept me from being able to do that. And I hope I can say that there's some people, there's some treasure in me that people need to receive as well. I can tell you my line is gone. It's gone. And I want you to receive whatever you can. And I hope others will erase that line as well because life really gets great when you start to, 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 to live a life with, with no dividing line. It really does. Mm -hmm. And I believe that we really start to see more of that heaven on, on, on earth that, that we're talking about. Yeah. Um, and we start to, to, to really, you know, love starts to flow. Mm -hmm. Where there's a line, there is a, 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 a the, the flow of love stops. That's right. Right? Because of the line. Mm -hmm. But love is meant to flow from heart to heart, from mind to mind. And so I just encourage everybody. It's a choice we all got to make. But start mm -hmm. erasing the line. Definitely stop drawing them, but let's start right. erasing them as well. Absolutely. Oh, that's so beautiful. So speaking of drawing treasure from Lynn. So Lynn, if people want to connect with you and you want to connect with Lynn, because he's got so much treasure in him, what's the best way, where should they go to connect with you? Well, right now, you know, if you, if you just go on Facebook, I do a lot of my Facebook messages on, um, you know, Facebook live, mm -hmm. Lynn Bennett Jr. is my name. Um, please, you send a friend request. I will gladly, um, you know, except uh, there's some things that I have. I don't really think I told you this, sis, but uh, established not too long ago, I called it with this Moration Network. It's an LLC, actually. And I don't even really know what I'm doing with it. It was on my heart to establish it. I don't know. I just did it, right? That'll but connect the dots because it's, uh, it's inspired. Yeah. 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 But, but one thing I really want to do, I want to go places and speak and share my heart um and so with inspiration Net network is hopefully going to be a platform where i can connect with people and hopefully now that everything is starting to open up a little bit it's good i, I love i love uh what what we do what we're doing on facebook live i do love it but it's nothing like being in the presence of people this is true you know, seeing people face to face because like when we met in, in North Carolina a couple of years ago, you know, we have been talking, communicating uh, on through Facebook and through the phone. Mm -hmm. and, and it was great. It was wonderful to yeah. know you, get to know you. But that weekend where we were together. That was heavenly. That was heavenly. Was to, uh, that was heavenly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I was able to <laughs> hug your neck and we yeah. laughed and we had a ball. So I, I, I want to do that. Yeah. I, I want to go places and, um, and and just share my heart with, with people. So uh, one of the things that um, with the Inspiration Network, I have a website that I'm getting um, kicked up right now. And so a lot more to come in, in, in the near future. But uh, uh, please, as of right now, if you just, if you know, want to reach out, just Lynn Bennett Jr. on uh, Facebook Live, and then I will start putting out my information as, you know, I just got a, the website, the web address, and all of that, but I want to make sure everything's up and running like it's supposed to, because uh, I'm still, I got to, I got <laughs> I got to get all this technology down. I, I give people the website. I don't, the moving I don't forget what the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I give out the website, forget what the password is and forget how to get on and all that. So I want to make sure everything is tight, but it is to come though. But uh, I do, I really want to, to really go out different places and create a, a platform where we can just join together. I would love to, you know, like I already asked you, I want, I want you to be able to come out here and, and share your heart in person. 
because yeah. I, I I still believe I might not go to church like I used to. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't go in a church building mm-hmm. like I used to, but I believe we need that human contact. Oh, we do. I believe that that's never going to go away. I mean, Facebook and virtual, that, that that's a good thing, but we still need that that physical face to contact face. Mm-hmm. With people, face to yeah. face. Yeah, we still exactly. need that. Yeah, we so, do. Uh, if anybody wants, please reach out and I would love to connect with you and hope to connect with you uh, even on a personal level, level in, the, in the near future. Because I know if you're near here anyway, Catherine Toon will be back in North Carolina real soon. I'm telling oh, you. Oh, I will. Yes. <laughs> and you will be able to see her in person. So, uh, yes. so we, we put things together now. So please reach out and I would love to to get to know your little belt. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Lynn. It's always, always, always a joy. I'm excited with what God is doing and uh, all of that. And just your, I love you so much. Thank you for being on. I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Well, everyone, make sure you tie in, find Lynn on Facebook and just tie in because he's he's always doing something. I'm always seeing his name pop. I was like, oh, it's awesome. So I know uh, I know you'll enjoy that. And in the meantime, uh, uh, you can uh, find me. I'll have all my information to contact if there's additional stuff, but I'm happy to uh, connect you with Lynn because he is amazing. All right, everybody have a wonderful whatever time of the day or night it is for you. Love you.